Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. We are going to Disney California Adventure today. I am already ready. I'm just waiting for Matthew to come back from Starbucks and I figured I would show you guys my outfit really quick. So, so honestly, I'm like pretty much just wearing like the same thing as yesterday. This is my pretty magical supply shop sweater in collaboration with Hello Sam Sam Designs. And then I'm wearing these Levi's and then I'm also going to be wearing these Gleam and Glimmer Coat ears because you guys voted for them. So that's what we're going to wear today. And I also need to put some accessories on. So let's do that. Okay, since I think today is like snow, I'm definitely going to wear my snowflake necklace from Fantastic Configurations. So here we go. So here is the complete outfit of the day. And then I'm also wearing, I'm also wearing my Mickey and Minnie Snow People Lounge Fly. So this is the complete outfit, super cute. And then I'm also going to carry my Stony Clover just because it's like extra space and it's just convenient. So I'm ready for the parks. Well, thank you, thank you. We finally are heading to the parks. What time is it? 7.50. 7.50, 10 minutes before opening. Guys, we're in the Avengers store and I see the Scarlet Witch backpack and I'm like high key debating if I should buy this. Like it is so cute. But I wish like these were a little more pointy. Maybe they're supposed to be like that. I'm not sure. Also you guys, the new Black Panther merch is so cute. Like I really like this sweater but I'm not really into like the yellow. So if it was just like purple and blue, that would be a vibe. Also her outfit is really cute. I think this is supposed to be like Spider-Man? I don't know. I think it just has like a Marvel thing on it, but that's cute. Guys, even the Wanda mug is cute. I love it. This t-shirt is kind of cute too because it has like all of the original comic book characters on this shirt. You guys, all of the Black Panther merch is so cute. Like look how cute these ears are. And then I also really like this top in the middle. Also, this little water bottle is really cute too. What do you guys think? Should I buy these? They're so cute! I even found this leather jacket that's really cute, but I want to say it's like a million dollars because all of the jackets are locked up. Let's see how much it is. Okay, I don't see a price tag. But it's just like a basic leather jacket. But still, really cute. Okay, so I did an outfit change. So I'm wearing the Walt Disney World 50th ears, this white denim jacket from Uniqlo, this sweater tube top from Princess Polly, and then these cargos from Princess Polly. And I'm just waiting for Matthew to go to the bathroom. Oh. Hi, Matthew. Hi. We're eating at Pin's Test Kitchen, and we got the Impossible breakfast, and then the Calculated breakfast. Looks really good. Oh, and then we also got this special holiday drink. Do you remember what it is? Okay, so this is the butter pecan, 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 pecan cold brew. So we're really excited to try this. What do you think? Me likey. Me likey. Interesting. It's like very coffee like, not as much sweetness. because obviously I had to find some gingerbread cookies so I got five of these these are so good so if you guys come to the parks I definitely recommend you guys have to try these because they're so good I dreamed about these cookies all year our first booth that we're trying from festival of holidays this is curry mac and cheese and then this is lost nachos and everything I think I'm butchering the name but basically just like salmon nachos so excited to try. Yeah. 
What do you think? Uh, it's like not what I expected, like with the ball nachos or curry. It's like that's like the main part of the curry, right? Sure. Oh, but do you like it? No, it's spicy. Oh, Good. like really spicy? Oh. There's a chutney on top. Huh? There's a, ch a chutney on top. Oh. Uh. It's like not as bad. I was expecting it to be a little more spicy. So the salmon nachos are basically for myself because Matthew's actually allergic to fish, so. It's good though. Wow, this tastes really good. It's like the everything but bagel seasoning. So what would you rate the curry and mac and cheese? Well, as someone who loves curry of all flavors, countries, and backgrounds, I'd give it a seven. But really? I, I don't think I would order it again, but I enjoyed it. The chickpeas were were interesting. They were the ones that provided most of the curry flavor. Really? I the mean, chickpeas? The, chick, the curry chickpeas, they were fried or dehydrated. Um, I enjoyed it. I don't think I would get it again, but I enjoyed it. What would you rate the lox and bagels? I would actually rate it like an 8 out of 10. Like, really? Like I really like the taste and it reminds me of the everything but bagel seasoning. So I really like the everything but bagel seasoning, so I really like it and I really like salmon, so I actually really like it. Our next booth for festival holidays, we got both of the sliders from the Winter Sliderland. This one is the holiday ham and then this one is the brisket slider. And also we decided to do the festival of holidays sip and savor past. The lady honestly yeah. convinced us, and we're, we already used two, and we still have a lot we wanted to try, so I think it was like a good investment. Okay, I'm gonna try the holiday ham one first. Mm. It's good. It's really sweet. Mm. I think I like this one better. The brisket one is really good. Which one do you like better? The brisket. Brisket's good. It's really, it's cooked really well. We got a churro toffee cold brew latte. I think we tried this coffee last year and it was really good, so we had to get it again. Is it here last year? I think so. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Also, very off tangent side note. I can get a lot of compliments on this jersey. Go Dubs. It's struggling right now, but it's okay. Also, you guys, I feel like we've gotten so much done today and it's like not even 12 o'clock. Pretty soon we have to get in the virtual queue for the holiday world of colors so we got to do that soon you guys we got it i mean i didn't think we wouldn't but still we got it you guys this hat is so cute it's reversible but it's for kids so my big head does not fit in this but look how cute it is and then the inside it has like this really cute mickey mouse print okay this, this looks a little ridiculous on me but i think it's cute like this hat is really cute it's giving me stony clover vibes but it's too small for my big head it has like dreamer in little patches and then it has like all these like really cute princess patches. So we're trying the turkey poutine. Looks really good. It definitely looks like Thanksgiving. Yeah. Really, really good. You didn't try the cheese. I don't know how much of a fan I am of cranberries. Oh. Um, okay, rank your favorite food that we've tried so far. Or what's your favorite out of the food that we tried so far? What's that? Curry mac and cheese. Really? Me, I think I really liked the slider. The, what was it? Brisket. Yeah, the brisket slider was really good. So I think that's my favorite yeah. so far. <laughs> and we still have like four little card thingies to go.
needs to tell Matthew that he needs to get this. Guys, how cute is this little drawing? I love it. It's so cute and I love all the colors. I really wish that they had like a separate mini pin because I really like how cute mini looks. They have this Mickey one, but I haven't seen a mini. I might have to get this one though because this one's pretty cute. I'm drinking the cranberry sangria and then Matthew got the gingerbread mule. Tell us your thoughts. I like it. It's actually like pretty good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because it's cinnamon, but I like it. And then I got the cranberry sangria and it's really good. It's a safe choice. Also you guys, I kept losing my mask, so Matthew had to give me a new one. So I put it on my wrist so I don't lose it. And then also, I popped off one of my nails. So that's how it is, but it's okay. I kept it in my backpack, so later when we get back to the hotel room, I'm gonna put it back on. But it's okay guys, we're still surviving and thriving. <laughs> so we're trying the peri peri chicken from the Flavors of Wakanda, and it looks so good. So, we'll see how it is. There was a recommendation from uh, someone near us, and it sold us. <laughs> wow, this is good. <laughs> it reminds me of the chicken from Costco. Oh, like rotisserie chicken? This is not better. Yeah. What did we get? Caramel horchata cold brew. Was it worth the wait? What do you think? You guys, we waited like 20 minutes for this, so I have high expectations. Yeah. at the favorite things cart. Ready, Matthew, to eat? Yummers. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn. It smells really good. There's a little kick to it. It's good. Also, you guys, literally, I was laughing so hard at the picture of us on Incredicoaster. I didn't even realize I dropped my hat. And so some nice man, he ran up to us and gave it to us. So whoever that nice man was, thank you. And I hope that a good deed comes your way because I literally didn't even realize that I lost this hat. We got more food. So we got the chicken, pork adobo? Pork belly adobo. It's pork belly adobo. And then we got the southern mac and cheese. And then we also got this like pumpkin cheesecake to try. I'm excited. Um, oh, this is so good. This is what we used our last 
coins on or whatever the tags on okay guys so we're trying the cheesecake now um, that's good that's really good you see yeah, it's really good. Top three. Chicken masala was... Really? I, I still like the curry mac and uh, cheese. Yeah. Come back to me for this one. Mm -hmm. Come back to me later. Okay, my top three is the adobo, the brisket slider, and I want to say the cheesecake. Okay, top three. I said chicken masala, I said curry mac and cheese. What's the third? Chicken adobo was good. Chicken, I mean the pork belly adobo. Sorry. Yeah. That was nice. And it's not, not really fatty because pork belly is usually fatty. Yeah. That's a pretty lean cut of pork yeah. belly. So I definitely think that we picked a good last three things to like spend our festival holiday tabs on. So I'm satisfied. I still want to try some things though at the cones. I always say I want to eat there, but I never do. This time we're actually going to eat there. We got the pumpkin pie churro at the Cozy Cone. It's like limited edition for the holidays. Yeah, you're gonna have to push it all of yourself. That is delicious. Matthew said that I was messy, but he spilled on my stony clover. Oh, now you're talking about stony clover? Look at that. Disgrace. Okay, hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this, please. It's Matthew on the cam. <laughs> um, I got the Luigi pesto chicken cone. The queso, the, the cone queso cone. It looks really good. Thoughts? What? Was it everything you ever dreamed of? Miss Lover of chicken pesto? The tomatoes add a nice touch, but it's really good. Oh, oh. oh my god, this just reminds me of having chicken facility tomorrow. Like, I feel like even during Halloween, their decorations are so good. Either way, I'm here for the vibes. <laughs> sweater and it has like a cute little embroider so now I kind of want one for myself that is so cute we're waiting for a world of color we still have about like 20 minutes left so we're almost there and it's the holiday edition also you guys I've been really good and I only bought like two merch items so far and I just spent a majority of my money on my food and honestly I'm kind of disappointed in the merch this year because I haven't been tempted to buy a lot but also I am trying to restrain myself and only buy like things I would wear throughout the year and kind of just restrain myself from holiday things because I do have a lot and I end up like not wearing it so I don't know but there are a few things that I am considering so the trip isn't over yet.
back at the hotel now. I put my nail back on and we are pretty much gonna go to bed. We had so much fun at Disney California Adventure and we had so much fun like eating all of the festival holiday foods. And it was actually a really good investment for us to use the Sip and Savor Pass because we used all of them and we pretty much just shared everything so we could actually try a lot of things. So overall, it was a really good investment. And we honestly just had a really chill day. Usually Disney California Adventure is a lot more of a relaxed day for us. And then we go to Disneyland and we're just like, go, 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 go. I don't know if anyone could relate to that, but that's like pretty much how our trips typically go. But either way, trying all the festival of holiday foods was really good. And we also really enjoyed the holiday world of color. It was really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments what are you most excited to try from Festival of Holidays. I really liked, yeah, I really liked the pork belly adobo, and then I also really liked the, and I also really liked the brisket slider, I believe it was called, and I also really liked the pumpkin cheesecake. And I also definitely think you guys should try the pesto chicken cone from the cones and everything so yeah <laughs> be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from me and especially if you guys don't want to miss any more of the disney vlogs be sure to hit that subscribe button and let's stay connected follow me on my socials the both just kayla's ever after and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye